Hey, happy Friday. Happy Friday found it. It's Los Castro. It is Friday. You made it. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Enjoy that deep, fresh air that's called Friday. I'm here with my good pal, my good buddy, my new friend, Clarence Lee Mitchell. And hey, just the name itself, doesn't it sound musical? Clarence Lee Mitchell. It's got the vibe of Chicago. And uh, buenas tardes, Sandra. Estamos bien. How are you? We have some Spanish speakers uh, reaching out to us. They're speaking to us in Spanish, so uh, I am assuming that they are Spanish speakers. Today we are bringing you the blues. Shirley has been looking forward to the blues, just like me, and a few other people, too. We're going to put our phones on silent, and we're going to go mm -hmm. grab our, we're going to go grab our favorite beverage and our favorite snack and we're going to ease back and relax because a lounge is a verb that means to sit back and relax and uh let us take it take over from here so we're going to be uh reaching out to our friends all the way to chicago <clears throat> do do uh obs software it looks like we're in the same lounge but the truth to tell you the truth we're still observing covid protocol because we don't know where that is but you know what it's okay today Clarence is going to show us that the blues is not a place that you live in, but it is something that you use to express your your happiness, your sadness, your frustrations, and we're going to push them all out, right? We're just going to get rid of them blues by playing them out. Am I right, Clarence? How you doing? That's right, Los. That blues is a strong feeling. It's got to come out. And when we express it, uh, there's a relief. So we're going to do a few tunes for for the founders. All right. I don't know if you uh, if you got your phone out, if, uh, in case you want to be able to see some of the uh, the chat. They're, they're talking to us right now. Sandra says uh, bilingual, bilingual, hehe, <laughs> and uh, looking forward to it. Okay, so she's talking to us in English now, and Shirley uh, Ann Johnson is, uh, is checking in. Hello, Los. Uh, hello, Shirley. Uh, Shirley is one of our top, uh, one of my secret weapons because she and Algenia, uh, they, they're uh, people that are constantly showing me new songs and new videos and asking me, you know, can you play this song? Can you play that song? That's amazing. Um, and just a shout out to everybody. You know, <clears throat> we haven't been together for a long, long time, found it. But I got to tell you, I'm very proud of you and proud of us. Because we are close to 1,000 likes on Facebook. It's not that I keep track of the numbers, but I got to tell you, <clears throat> the more exposure we have on Lounge of Sound, the, the more artists we can reach out to. People like Clarence, that they hear about us, if we have some kind of credibility, well, then they're going to be apt. They're going to be looking forward to be on the show, grace us with their presence. And what a privilege it is, isn't it, to, to reach out nationwide, possibly even worldwide, <clears throat> and find people that are not just talented, but humble and approachable. Uh, because music, as we've been talking throughout this whole uh, journey that we've been taking, we go on Sonic Safaris every Friday, and we expand, we broaden our horizons. We don't just play uh, rock or pop or Latin. No, we go in to play blues. We're going to have country pretty soon. 
we've had uh, fingerstyle, we've had Latin, um, man, we've had so many different styles. I hope someday we'll we'll uh, oh we've had we've had um, what was it uh, the music from Nigeria um, Afrobeat. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll have we'll have a show on reggae or a show on uh, how about a cooking show or a special on wellness and uh, using music therapy uh, to reach out to children and another one for uh, cancer survivors of cancer. Um, you guys are giving me some wonderful ideas. Just to let you know, uh, Stephanie Burl and I, we're working on a, on a class, uh, uh, not a class, but um, <coughs> wellness on, uh, instru- it's uh, information, I was going to say instruction, but information on how we can use music and other different kinds of forms of therapy, uh, forms of expression to be able to, to endure uh, trials such as cancer which kind of dovetails with today's show using blues to have a great positive outlook it's music uh is not just a place where we just lay our head down and we just stay there and sleep it off no no sorry the blues have got to be expressed out clarence what you got to say about that i can agree with that lois it's got to come out i know for me um blues is kind of like a a comfortable pair of shoes that you keep close by. They might be a little scuffed up on the toe, they might be a little run down on the heel, but they just feel so good, so you gotta put them on. Hmm. I like that illustration. Is. So sometimes we may not feel our best, but whatever you, it makes you comfortable, you gotta wear it, be it, embrace it. Some lonely people out there, what do you gotta do? You gotta swim in the sea of humanity, people. Uh, last night, somebody said, Los, you haven't played Lonely Woman in a while. Guess what? The blues has made its way into pop, rock, R&B. Uh, this is a Steppers mix that I'm going to play for you guys. I hope you all like it. Lonely Woman Steppers mix from uh, Ndombi. And I forgot the name of the DJ, but uh, this is, I do not own the rights to this song. Nonetheless, we're going to give it the old Los feel, and I hope you all enjoy this. Sit back, relax, let's lounge together. Enjoy your Friday.
See what I mean? That's got a lot of elements of the blues, but it was it was relaxing. It was kind of like settling our nerves. The blues has so much power. Who was it? Remind me, Clarence. Who used to sing blues power? Blues power. Who used to sing blues power? That was Albert you King. Get me, Los. It was Albert, Albert King. King. Yeah, okay. and Albert King used to tell a little story. He said, "You know that baby that's crying for that milk? 
He's got the blues. You know that girl that's crying because she didn't get to go to the to the dance and she's 16 and she's looking pretty and she's got that nice dress and she didn't get to go? She's got the blues. Got the blues. Yeah, we've all got the, the, that, that gentleman that uh, he didn't get the job, he didn't get the promotion, he got the blues. We all got the blues, people. We know that. But what are we going to do about it? We're going to talk to Clarence and we're going to see... <laughs> Why the blues? How did you get started with the blues? Why do you play the, the the harp? All those stories. Folks, welcome Clarence Lee Mitchell to the Lounge of Sound. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing great, Los. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, you asked me a few questions. I guess I can start with uh, how I picked up the harmonica. Why not? Let's start right there. It's uh, kind of an accident. My wife, who's a very kind and, and generous person, mm -hmm. she likes to give surprise gifts, okay? And uh, one day I asked her, I said, you know, I always wanted to learn how to play the saxophone, even as a kid. I, mm -hmm. I, I never did, thinking that she was going to surprise me with a saxophone. Mm -hmm. I was expecting it. But anyway, a few days passed. And sure enough, she came home with this gift wrap package, but it was too small to be a, sac a saxophone. Mm -hmm. She handed it to me, and she said, we can't afford a saxophone. Learn how to play this. Ah. So Interesting. I said, okay. I opened it up, and inside of the box was this little uh, harmonica and an instruction booklet, and I started playing. That was over 20 years ago. Hmm. So she had a lot to do with uh, my music. Okay, so she got you a harmonica, but why the blues? Did the blues choo uh, choose you, or did you pick the blues? Which one was it? I think the blues picked me. How so? Uh, even though I, I enjoy performing uh, a variety of music, mm -hmm. uh, soul, pop, R&B, mm -hmm. old school, even a little country, um, I'm just drawn to the blues for some reason. It's kind of like that, that comfortable pair of shoes I was telling you about. It just feels so good. It's a good fit. Good. What's your earliest memory of the blues or, or sounds that, that brought you to the blues? You remember the first time you spinned a record or somebody's cassette or 8-track or whatever that, that, that struck a chord in you? Excuse the pun. <laughs> it had to be uh, at home as a kid. My mom used to play music around the house all the time. And uh, it was just a variety of uh, different singers and, and musicians. Mm -hmm. She had a, a fondness for Johnny Taylor. Johnny Taylor, okay. And uh, Sam Cooke. And you can hear all of that in their music. Absolutely. The influence of yeah. blues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, matter of fact, speaking of Albert King, you brought him up. I'd like to do a tune. You, you ready to go? Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna stop a man in his if he's gonna if he's got the blues coming on, show us that blues power. All right. All I right. like that smile and I like that energy. Come on now, Clarence Lee Mitchell found it. Let's welcome Clarence Lee Mitchell. Let's see them comments in the chat because once you hear him, there ain't no going back. He's got an authentic blues flair from Chicago, Clarence Lee Mitchell. Let's hit it, bro. Here we go. If you're down and out And you're hurt real good Come on over To the place where I work In all your loneliness I'll try to soothe I'll play the blues for you Don't be afraid, no Just come on in You might run across, yeah Some of your old friends And all your loneliness 
I'll try to soothe I'll play the blues for you I ain't no big name, no And whoa, I ain't no big star But I'll play the blues for you On this harmonica And all your loneliness I've got to soothe I'll play the blues for you Don't be afraid Just come on in You might run across Yeah, yeah Some of your old friends And all your loneliness I'll try to soothe All your loneliness I'll try to soothe Lee Mitchell played the blues for you and for me and everybody else for that matter. Shirley Ann says Thank that you. she's loving that song, sounding fantastic. Love the harmonica. They're throwing ones up for you, my brother. Joyce Peters says, Welcome, Clarence Lee Mitchell. Awesome sound. Uh, and we've got we've got some hearts, we've got some notes. It's a relaxing evening with the blues. Shirley says, My dad played the harmonica and guitar, was self-taught. He played the blues down in Mississippi. And mm. uh, you know what? Somebody says that was a great use of an unexpected gift. So Thank the you. harmonica Thank is you, the friends. unexpected gift. What what else is unexpected about the harmonica? Well, what do they, don't they have a nickname for the harmonica? The nickname I think would be Mississippi Sax. Mississippi Sax. <laughs> See how we tied that in? Shirley said that her daddy used to play the blues in Mississippi. And, uh, and somebody says an unexpected gift, so we tied them two jokes together, and we, yeah. Did you know that? Bet you didn't. How's that for unexpected? So, so uh, okay, so you said you, you heard the blues, Johnny Taylor and people like that. Do you remember your first time that something hit you? Like, okay, I like me some blues. What is that? You remember that? I heard a song. It was actually a remake by uh, a harmonica, old school harmonica player. Um, what was his name? Little Walter. Well, it was uh, Junior Wells. Junior Wells. Remade yeah. 
a cut by uh, one of the old blues guys, and that just floored me. Did it? Yeah, yeah. You remember the name of the song or what album or what did you hear it on? Do you, would you, did you first hear it? The, what format did you hear it on? I heard it on CD. A CD. Okay. It, was it, was it on vinyl? It was on vinyl, but I, I picked up the CD. The name of the cut was uh, Help Me. Help Me. Okay, so the first time you remember, did you ever play with your mom and dad's vinyl collection, or did you open it up? But what's, what was your experience, your earliest experience? I would play my mom's 45s. Mom's 45s. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't want us to to bother him, but I'd wait till she left the house, and then I'd go put them on. You Tell know me. the kind you stack up on the uh, spindle uh-huh. and they drop down. Yeah, yeah. Did you have to put a penny or something to to keep the. We had a nice one, so we didn't need the pennies. You didn't need the penny. Okay. No. <laughs> you didn't but have I've to... been with those too. What'd you use in the center? Did it have the original that big spindle, or did it have that little plastic insert? What'd you have? It had the plastic insert, plastic. and you know the spindle was inside, so you pull it out when you wanted to play LPs. Right. All right. What else can you tell us about your experience with music, with, with your mom and dad's collection, or when you got your first collection, your big brother, something like that? Give, give me something that would remind us of the experience of hearing the blues. Um, that's a tough question. Sometimes... Um, it just uh, comes to you accidentally. You hear something, you hear a riff uh, uh, um, from a song, mm-hmm. and it hits a nerve, if you know what I mean, on a guitar riff or a harmonica riff or a saxophone riff, and it makes you stand up. Yeah. So it's a variety of different sounds that I've heard that touch me. Like what? Can you give, expand a little on that? Like, like what kind of thing grabbed you? There's a lick that um, is on a, an old um, um, Muddy Waters hit. And um, it was, um, no, it wasn't Hoodoo Man. It was I'm a Man. Oh, yeah. Sounds like that. Mm-hmm. They just hit me right between the eyes something about that huh it's um i to me it feels like like a punch in the gut you know it got your attention it's just like what is that you know the first time i i mean when i was a kid we it was different things my friends were from detroit they would have a house party they would have a soul train and everybody's into the soul train and then all of a sudden they bring out somebody brings out an album you know the 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 older guys are sitting off in a corner and they're even smelling the vinyl and they're like oh (laughs) this is the this is the one right here hey 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 Uh, you know uh you know they they'd call each other out and they say hey you remember this and it was bb king live at the regal Mm -hmm. or ike and tina turner and i gotta tell you first time i heard ike and tina turner everybody was going on about tina turner but i heard ike's guitar and i went man that is that is the jam. I just remember Ike's guitar was just fierce. It was raw. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, today mm-hmm. everything's all processed. They've got compressors and all that. But I mean, it was just, you know, it was just, just one of those, you know, that just, it was just big wide open. Same as when I heard Buddy, Buddy Guy. Mm-hmm. Oh man, mm-hmm. he had this frenetic, wild vibrato. What did it for you? It was probably Sonny Boy Williams. There you go. Those licks that he had. Um, something like. They just mm. punch you right in the chest. Yeah. <laughs> That's, see, it's always a punch. For me, it was a punch <laughs> in the gut. You is a punch in the chest. You're like, what <laughs> is that? You know, yeah. I mean, um, man. And uh, do you have any favorite keys that you play in? Well, I mostly play C, G. Guitar players, I know they like A and E. Mm-hmm. Kind of depends on the song. Yeah. Right. But, I mean, not just the song, right? I mean, certain keys are easier to play. Like on guitar, E and A are really easy to play. You've got a lot of, a lot of pull up. You know, there's, mm-hmm. it's, it's easier. 
that's E, right? So mm -hmm. for a sax player, it's in B, you know? It's right there. They want to play it in B. So for mm -hmm. you, why do you play those keys? Is it is it just easier to blow in or blow out? And what kind of harmonica do you play and why? It's easier to blow in and out on those particular ones. On those and keys. Uh -huh. with uh, the harmonica that I play, diatonic. Diatonic, okay. You get one note or one key blow, another key when you draw. So they kind of tie in together, yeah. And the thing about the blues, you do a lot of bending. Mm -hmm. Like with uh, a guitar player, you guys pull up, mm -hmm. or you squeeze those, those strings mm -hmm. to get that in-between note or that blue note. The blue note, so, yeah. 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 So can you show us, just a, you showed us a tiny bit, but you know, like when you blow in, what it sounds like, and when you, when you draw in, what's the difference in the sound? Well, like this is a C. Okay, and when you want to bend, you'll just take it. Now that would be a G. All right, okay, all right, that sounds good. Well, maybe maybe it's time that we um, so, uh, we talk to the chat. It seems like they're talking to us. I don't know if you can see the chat. They're talking to Let's us. See. Uh, Sandra says, so you really did your sax because you mentioned that it was a, 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 a what would you call that, the, the harmonica? The Miss Mississippi, Mississippi saxophone. Mississippi sax. So she says, <laughs> so you really did your sax. Lori Wilson yeah. says, we like it. Jason and Lori. Hey, sis, how you doing? Jeffrey Miller says, Junior Wells and Buddy Guy. Oh, my. And Maria Barbosa da Silva has got a happy hearts uh, with a smiley face. So they're digging the blues, my brother. That's really, really oh, right. fine. That's we're having a good time. Who's who? Who played last? Was that you? Am I up or are you, are you up? I can't remember. I got all <laughs> engrossed in the conversation. Lose. Okay. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna play a different kind of blues now. I'm gonna play a little funk fusion blues. Uh, I hope you guys like this. We're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna be playing different styles of blues to uh, because I'm not from Chicago and he's from Chicago. So I'm just gonna show you how. Hey. When you say, I don't like the blues, maybe you haven't heard the kind of blues that you like. So right now I'm gonna play a little funk fusion minor blues. Hopefully you like this. Earlier we played a different, more of an R&B steppers. We're gonna be sounding a different kind of, different kinds of blues until we find, or you find something found it's that connects with your heart, a sentiment that you feel. Okay, let's hear this.
and that was Funk Fusion Minor Blues. You can find that on uh, Jam Track Channel. Uh, Jam Tracks Channel is uh, over on, if you go to bandcamp.com, you can find fine tracks like that. And um, so I gave them a little shout out to Jam Tracks Channel because uh, they allow me to, to play tracks like that for you folks. Mm-hmm. And as you can tell, there's different kinds of, of blues so that you can find something in your wheelhouse, something that you feel comfortable with as you're going about your day, you know, uh, maybe uh, washing dishes or cooking or whatever you're doing, you know, doing your homework. Some some of you folks are working from home. So that's, a, you know, it's a, it's a different kind of a music that we don't hear <laughs> every day. It's a little left of center from the dial. But nonetheless, uh, the blues, it's alive, folks. Clarence, checking back oh, with yeah. you. So... Oh, How yeah. has the blues, has it ever inspired you for anything other than just feeling sad? Oh, sure. The, the blues not only uh, can bring a tear to your eye, it can all, also make you smile, make you grin, make you laugh sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking of a song now. Okay. Uh, you want to give us an example of how it would make you laugh? Well, listen to the lyrics of this song. Okay. So it's kind of a cautionary tale, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. It's entitled Last Two Dollars. Okay. It's a little hot, huh? Hello. All right. The lady at the casino. She lost all the money She said, don't feel sorry for me No Don't feel sorry, honey But if you want to do a lady a favor Here's what I want you to do Just loan me two dollars Uh-huh Until the next time I see you But these last two dollars I'm not gonna lose, not gonna lose. These last two dollars I'm not gonna, lose. not gonna lose One going for my bus pass Other one for the jukebox To hear me some blues I got to hear me some blues She said I wouldn't be over here If my man had been treating me right I came here to try to catch him, yeah He been sneaking around every night But I got caught up over here Got caught up in the scene And I put all of my money uh-huh, In the doggone gambling machine But these last two dollars I'm not gonna lose These last two dollars I'm not gonna lose one going for my bus fare, the other one for the jukebox to hit me some blues, some down home blues. Sing it for me. casino She lost all her money She said don't feel sorry Don't feel sorry class me But if you want to do a lady a favor Here's what I want you to do 
head Just loan me two dollars uh -huh. Until the next time I see you But these last two dollars I'm not gonna do These last two dollars Sure ain't gonna lose Now I learned my lesson And now baby I wanna hear me some blue All right These last two dollars I'm not gonna do These last two dollars Sure ain't gonna do I learned my lesson And now baby I wanna hear me All right now. These last two dollars, I'm not gonna do. These last two dollars, sure ain't gonna do. I learned my lesson, and now, baby, I got to hear me some blues. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I sing that again. These last two dollars, I'm not gonna do. These last two dollars Show sure ain't gon' lose One going from a bus fare Other one for the jukebox To hear beats That's what I'm talking about Ladies and gentlemen Clarence Lee Mitchell's Playing the Thank blues you. for you Hey folks Um uh, we normally, we don't push, we don't pedal, we know nothing, but if you look in the details, information right there, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so that you get notifications. Also, we would like for Clarence to come back, and he is a musician, and we do it for play, and we do it for pay. So if you look in the details section, you'll see a little uh, some digits right there. Please feel free to donate to Mr. Clarence Lee Mitchell, care of Lisa Mitchell. The information is right there. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Bro, I am happy to acknowledge there are ones lighting up. There's fire, 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 and ones all over the place. And I don't know why. Thank you. Uh, YouTube is saying that the ones are questionable. <laughs> That's so weird <laughs> for me. But uh, we take claps, we take fire, we take ones, and everybody loved that uh, last $2. So why does the last $2 make you laugh? Uh, the lyrics are a little bit different and uh you think about uh something like that happening what so, else what else can you do in that case right you gotta laugh at the irony yeah. right <laughs> right so we're talking about uh using the blues to deal to cope but you don't fall on it and just stay in it or wallow in self-pity no nah, you gotta you gotta use different kinds of blues right clarence that's right Different kinds of blues for different kinds of feelings. So let me ask you something. Different kinds of feelings. You can be serious with us. We're friends now. I think we're friends now, right? Um, you ever sing the blues to your wife when you want to feel romantic? Every now and then. Yeah? What kind of answer do you get? Is it an anniversary, a picnic? What? When would you sing to, to her? It would probably be a, an anniversary. Oh. How long, yeah. can I ask, how long have you, have you all been married? We've been married for 36 years. Round of applause for 36 years. That's not something usual these days. So uh, that's wonderful. What's, what's, what's your wife's name? Lisa. Lisa, that's right. Of course, I, we said Lisa Zell, right? Lisa <laughs> Mitchell, hello from uh, Los Castro and the Found It's Wonderful. Uh, man, it's, that's a, a beautiful um way to use the blues to sing to your wife you you would what, what do you dance what kind of response did you get for your for your efforts usually it's a positive response you know what comes from the heart reaches the heart oh i like that say that again say that again what comes from the heart reaches the heart yeah i like that i like that part yeah well congratulations to both of you i'm glad that you don't use the blues to just stay home and and hit that bottle, man. I mean, <laughs> we got to use the blues to fall in love. Am I right or am I right? Founders, what do you think? Oh, they're all saying congratulations. 
Uh, Linda Roper says, Silky Thank Smooth, you. we love hearing you sing this. Uh, it was Johnny Taylor, right? That was Johnny Taylor. Johnny mm-hmm. Taylor's song, yeah, last two dollars. It's a great song, and you sound so authentic. Can I say that? Thank you. Sure. I, I wish I was authentic. It's a because, compliment. Absolutely. We play the blues over at Conquer Lounge. Uh, my friend D said uh, uh, he's he's in, he's Mister Incognito Incognito right now. Uh, he's visiting us right now, but um, he, we both have played at Conquer Blues and we, uh, blues at the Conquer Lounge, and um, we know that. Um, there's a lot to be said for the blues. A lot of people are asking for the blues nowadays. I think um, the blues, playing the blues makes them feel all right. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. It's a good feeling usually. Push them out. Yeah. Well, let's see if it's, we can if we can play some seductive bluesy ballad right now and see if we can see an example of what Clarence just said, that the blues is not only about feeling sad or feeling happy. Sometimes it can make you feel in love. It's, am I right, Clarence? Can it be elegant, sensual, romantic? Sure, it can. Yeah. All right. Especially those minor keys that you play on your guitar. All right. <laughs> you hear how he's talking like he's starting to talk like this. And your radio <laughs> DJ is uh, it's two o'clock in the morning, and what else are you gonna listen to right now? Mr. Incognito, this is for you, some seductive bluesy ballad in E minor, because we talked about playing minor keys, and uh, E is easy.
Nice. We're going to call that one endurance because, ladies and gentlemen, loyalty takes a lot of endurance. And that's what I'm thinking. 36 years of dancing together and playing the blues together and they're still in love as ever that inspired me to play something in e minor because i thought you know what we got to show the struggles sometimes we get bro is it true sometimes in an argument somebody's crying and you're consoling and they're crying and they stay on that one note you know they're like and you're like you know, you're you're like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. <laughs> one of the two of us, we lose our mind, and one of the yeah. two of us reigns it back in and says, hey, love will prevail. Does that work? Am I yeah. feeling that? Yeah, it's like a, like a call and response, you know, in music. Well, I play something. And you come back and play something, and then I'll come back again. gonna even follow that one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna try to follow that one that was that was all the way down from your feet mm, 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 mm. <laughs> folks that's that's uh that's microtonal i mean we, we're hearing the down home blues so uh your blues where where is your blues from chicago mostly yeah. um Implanted from uh, Virginia. My folks come from Virginia, Pennsylvania. And a lot of my friends I know are from the South, Mississippi, Alabama. So that's that influence is there, you know. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I could feel it. I could smell it. I could taste it. So <laughs> what's a typical what's a typical blues cookout? I mean, what do we what elements do we need? For us to describe, not everybody. Some people here are from Brazil, some from Mexico, some California. Describe to us, what is the typical blues cookout? What elements do we need? Blues, down-home cookout, you got to have barbecue ribs, right? Okay, okay. Barbecue chicken. You got to have greens. You got to have potato salad. What gotta kind of greens? What potato. kind of greens? Come on, paint, paint me the picture here. They could they could be collard greens, collard greens. Uh, okay. whatever. They they just got to be greens and good, spicy. Spicy, all right. Yeah. What you use for for the spices? You use some cayenne pepper. A little cayenne pepper. Okay. Oh yeah, spice it up. Yeah, you got to have all of those different dishes, all and right. then some coleslaw too. You got to have some coleslaw. <laughs> what about what about uh, potato salad? You do that. You know, I'm not very good with the potato salad. My mom could really cook, uh, fix a potato salad, though. I, I miss hers. Oh, mama's the best. Yeah. I'm so yeah. sorry about your mama. I'm so sorry. Thank I know you. I'm really close to my mom, Estelita. I don't know if you were out there, but you know we're close, and I know you know that I love your music, your 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 food. I I give her music, and she gives me food, man, and that's a that's that's all right. Tell me about your mama. She what what was her what was her like? Mm, that one dish that she made made you want to go home and slap everybody in the family because you're like, that's good. <laughs> she had a, a few dishes that she could really throw down on, so to speak, okay? She could cook a, a, a turkey, mm -hmm. then, of course, the potato salad. Mm -hmm. People fall out for the potato salad. Mm -hmm. Greens, they mashed potatoes. Out. She showed out. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're making me hungry, Los. Oh, you're making me hungry, bro. <laughs> I was like, I, you know, earlier when you were playing that last $2, I thought, you know what? When you got last $2, the only thing you can do is go get some fish. You got some catfish and get that fried really nice and just, oh, you make yeah. me hungry. Oh, I forgot about the catfish. Oh, man, you got to have catfish. I got the catfish. Yeah. I like what yeah. Kennedy Santos says, where, when there's smoke, there's flavor. I like that. Yeah. And Shirley said she counters out. She counters it. So it sounds like my cook. And well, all right. 
Well, uh, yeah, we are liking that you are making a lot of music and a lot of sense out of not many notes. You know, it's mm-hmm. now let me ask you something, and I'm not trying to get all abstract on you, but when you are blowing, what are you trying to simulate the, the human voice, or what are you trying to convey? For me, I try to simulate the, the human voice uh-huh. more so in my harmonica. And I trade off of uh, guitar players, mm-hmm. saxophone players, mm-hmm. and uh, I pick up their tone as well. But that's my objective when I play with other folks. Mm. You don't try to make it sound like a, like what, like what kind of voice? Male voice, female voice, anybody's voice in particular? Nobody's voice in particular. Really? Male, female. Hey, they all sound good if they sound good. Wow. Yeah, uh, Rubia, she's always wanting to sound like Alita, I mean, uh, Anita Baker. It's like, do, 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 that's a compliment. I try to uh, convey that. You, where do you feeling. breathe? Where do you feel that breath? You you do you bring it down from the bottom? You feel it from your gut, from the lower back? Where do you feel that air coming from? It's coming from my chest diaphragm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're not you're not singing from here, right? No, not usually. Yeah. It's coming from a little bit lower. A little lower. Okay. Any any uh any tips on if somebody wants to start playing harmonica any brands that you like or I like uh I like Honer Honer okay uh, and uh, Seidel makes a good harmonica as well Okay what key should they start with You should start with a C C C's right in the middle <laughs> Excuse me or do mm-hmm. Yeah there you go mm-hmm. and then uh, from there uh, probably an A D, Mm -hmm. yeah. B flat, a lot of good songs, blues songs, and B flat as well. You're right. So those are your basic uh, keys. All right. Well, we're talking about keys. We're talking about food. What you got cooking for us? You know, did I do uh, uh, country blues for you? No, you didn't. I didn't. I'm gonna hold oh. it against you if you don't. Oh, we we gotta do a little something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get some country blues. Uh, here we go. To spend my nights out in a bar room Liquor was the only love I know But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom and brought me back. From being too far gone And you're as smooth As Tennessee whiskey You're as sweet As strawberry wine Honey, I stay stoned on your love all the time. Now I look for love in all the same old places. Found the bottom of the bottles always dry. Mm-hmm. 
But when you poured out your heart, I didn't waste it, no baby. Cause there's nothing like your love to give me high. Tennessee whiskey And you're as sweet As strawberry wine You're as warm As a glass of brandy And honey I stay stoned On your love Time. Play that guitar. Thank you. Man, oh man, Clarence Lee Mitchell in the lounge tonight. It's a Friday night. It's uh, over here in Portland, Oregon. It's 6.16 p.m. Central. You guys are two hours ahead, so 8 p.m. You So you're in Chicago. You are in the future, my friend. Yeah, yeah, we're a couple <laughs> hours ahead. A <laughs> couple hours ahead. I'm not going to hold it against you. It's nice because you all are kicking off the weekend uh, we've got a lot of activities this weekend. Um, don't forget, if you are in the Portland metro area, I will be at Conquer Lounge on Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m. Conquer Lounge is in the heart of the Hawthorne District. It's 26th and Southeast Hawthorne. Hope you all can uh, join us for some uh, blues from 6 to 8. We're going to continue the blues. That's why I was excited. I, Clarence, how many times did we talk about the blues during the week? About three times? At least, yeah. At least. I've been excited. All good. <laughs> All good. Of course. We were happy. We were just vibing off each other. You know, we haven't known that lo- each other that long. With that said, folks, if you want to see him, don't forget, this, uh, this broadcast will be available for replay so you can hear Clarence Lee Mitchell's fine uh, harmonica and, uh, and singing. And uh, we, he and I, we met a while back uh, for a blues um, show. If you type in KMR Place, that's Kevin Miles Ritter, KMR Place Live, you're on YouTube, and you can see Clarence Lee Mitchell. You were on, what, three or four broadcasts? I think four, yes. Four mm-hmm. broadcasts, okay. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been there. I, I've been uh, part of that cast. Uh, a few of the members that are here, like Kennedy Santos, are also members of that show. And so you can catch him here on on YouTube, we I am going to beg you to open up a SoundCloud account and load some of your songs so that the friends can find you. Because right now, folks, 
we can't find him. But in the meantime, don't forget you can find him here on YouTube four different times at KMR Place Live. And now this show, Lounge of Sound, which uh, we're going to try to give you 90 minutes of good, solid blues brought to you by Clarence Lee Mitchell and even a little bit by me. Uh, you know, I, I can't count myself as a, as a true connoisseur of blues, but I definitely am an aficionado and a big fan of Clarence and the blues. So, uh, and the chat is lighting, lighting up. Algenia is saying international soul food will be served in paradise soon. Sandra says, <laughs> I want to fly up for the in-person show. Absolutely, Sandra. That's, that would be great. Um, I don't know. Are, do you know if you're going, Clarence, do you know if you're going to be at the next KMR Place uh, live blues show in September? Do you know yet? I don't, I don't know yet, Los. Yeah. They haven't contacted me yet. Uh, yeah. The producers have not contacted me, so I can't speak for myself. But uh, as soon as Clarence Lee and, and myself and a few others get some kind of uh, word, we'll, we'll be sure to let you know. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, they've been kind enough to loan me some of their artists for this show. So I, I every now and then I send them over some new talent over to KMR Place Live. So it's a mutual admiration society. Ain't nothing wrong with that. With that said... Um, should I do a song next, or do you? Because you just you just sang. You wanna you wanna give the pipes a little rest? Uh, whatever you wanna do, Los. Okay. I'll tell yeah. you what. While you get another song, I'm gonna try to bring out a classic blues song that I love to do, and that gives you some time to find out which which is gonna be your next track. Okay. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna have some fun, folks. We're gonna give it up for Mr. Riley B. King. Day I know I'll be over on, baby. Just like I 
B.B. King. Whoa. Herbie Hancock right. wanted to get in there. Yeah, man. I mean, I, nice. I, I love me some blues. I mean, I'm not from Chicago, but I know, uh, you know what? The blues is wherever you go. Am I right or am I right? That's right. That's right. You take it with you. You take it with you. Wherever you go. Anything else you want to tell us or teach us about the blues? I mean, we're all newbies here. Come on. You got to give us something. <laughs> Some pearls I'm wisdom. not, I'm not an expert, Los, but uh, come on now, give us something. Blues is, uh, like I say, it's a feeling, and it's universal. We've all experienced it. You brought that out in the beginning of the show. It could be in different forms, and uh, it feels good to hear it. It feel feels good to hear the lyrics and uh, apply them if they stick. But if not you can still smile and walk away. I like that. That's that's almost poetic. You got any last songs you want to do for us? Uh, here's a classic tune by Bobby Blue Bland. Oh, Bobby Blue Bland to say good night. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, found it's around the world. It's been a great great hang with you and with Clarence Lee Mitchell and next week we're going to be having a music appreciation 101 with Don Fisher. She's going to come in and show us how a normal everyday person can use music to kind of be able to cope. And America has the blues right now, so you know what? Let's let's try to uh, Thanks Kennedy. Nice lob. Nice nice setup. So we're going to we're going to finalize the night with one of the greatest voices in my opinion, Bobby Boo Blue Bland and one of the greatest voices that has graced here the lounge of sound clarence lee mitchell thank you so much for honoring us what a privilege to have you on this show come back would you do that for us sure los i'd love to thank you for having me thank you all for being here here we go It's a private party Don't need no money To qualify Don't bring your checkbook Bring your broken heart Cause it's members only tonight Say you lost your woman Say you lost your man You got a lot of problems All in your life They're throwing a party For the broken hearted And it's members only tonight Go tell mama Go tell daddy Red or yellow Black or white 
Throwing a party for the sad and the lonely And its members only tonight Members only, it's a private party Don't need no money to qualify Don't bring your checkbook when you're broken heart Cause it's members only tonight You lost your man You got a lot of problems All in your life They're throwing a party For the broken hearted And it's members only tonight Go tell mama Go ahead and tell your daddy Red or yellow Black or white Throw in a party For the sad and the lonely And it's members party tonight And it's members only tonight Only tonight, and it's members only tonight. Members only tonight. Thank you. Oh wow, that you know what we we gotta we gotta be here just a tiny bit because, folks. We got to give a round of applause. I never do this. Clarence, thank you for that song. So many lost people. Clap for you, for the chat. For Friday nights, folks, we'll see you back here next Friday. Please, please try to make it. I promise you will not regret it, just like you don't regret being here, and I don't regret you being here. Thank you so much for showing up, folks. We'll see you next Friday. Clarence. I'll be I'll be talking to you soon, bro. <laughs> we got to talk blues. <laughs>